Hi everyone, uh, my name is Chrissy Collins and I'm the Director of Academic Programs here at the University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies and I'm delighted to be here today in the office of our Dean, Dr. Marie McDonald. I'm often in the office, in a good way, uh, because we chat a lot about ideas and the future of continuing education here in addition to our administrative duties. And so today, I'm really excited to chat with Maureen a little bit about our micro courses, as, which is a program we've just launched uh, here at the school. So welcome Maureen, and Thank tell us a bit about micro courses. So micro courses is a, a really interesting initiative that we've developed in order to respond to the notion around just-in-time learning. We're finding that employers are looking for their employees to develop skills quickly, rapidly, and in a format that is not gonna take them out of the workplace for very long. It's not an accelerated version of the course, it's a shortened version of the course, and the tuition reflects that it's a shorter version of the course. I guess a typical course would be between around 12 weeks in duration. How long are the micro courses? So micro courses tend to be five to six weeks in duration and they would be offered multiple times throughout the semester. So individuals that are wanting to take the courses are not stuck to the beginning of a semester start. What if you have a great experience in a course, you love it so much and you think, wow, maybe I'd want to complete a certificate. How might that work? So I think that's one of the beautiful aspects of the, the micro courses is that they've been developed to be stackable. So that if somebody comes in and they think they have a particular skill set that they need to obtain, they feel that this has given them a taste of it, they want to be, uh, gain more robust skills, then we allow them to put those courses together and at the end of the day, they're able to achieve a certificate in that particular topic area. And so it really is a way for people to round out their competencies and to be uh, really uh, obtain the skill sets they need in the topic areas that are of most interest and are of most need to them. Because they're stackable, they don't necessarily need to be taken in sequence either. So if there's something that I need now, I can take that now and then maybe build on that later. It's the beauty of just-in-time learning. You really take what you need when you need it. So it seems like adult learning is shifting from kind of a rigid semester, kind of follows the traditional education trajectory. And now we're moving to a place where things are a little bit more customized and more personalized for people to really recognize with themselves and the people that they work with what they need to work on and um, and seek out courses and training to help them to improve in those areas. Is that is that kind of the read you're getting? That's, that's it precisely. I think we're trying to put the learner in charge of their own learning journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, whatever way that unfolds, uh, you know, the, the days where the university dictates what you have to take, when you have to take it, I think are starting to evolve and we're seeing the learners in charge more significantly of their own learning. Well, it's a really exciting time to be in continuing education. This is great. It's a fascinating time. It is. Excellent. Tell me why this is actually important now when this is something we may not have heard about, say, three or four years ago. Well, I think the need for uh, flexibility in terms of learning is increasing. Uh, employers are asking for things much more quickly. And uh, one of the things that came up too is the federal government introduced uh, the Canada training benefit in its budget of 2019. And within that package of, of uh, budget materials was a, a Canada training benefit. And that particular initiative caught our attention because it was a way for working professionals and those that qualify under the Canada training credit to get a credit in their taxes for some of their post-secondary education. And uh, it's up to $500 uh, per year uh, tuition. You get a credit of half of that. And over the course of someone's lifetime, you can get up to $5,000 tax credit. Oh, that's pretty good. So that means that you could take a course, a single course and almost get half of it paid for. Exactly, and we've developed the micro courses really with that in, in mind. It's a, a shorter version of some of the courses, so the tuition point is lower. Uh, it's, it's much more accessible for folks, and we think that this is going to be an opportunity for people to leverage what they can get out of the Canada Training Credit and still get some top-notch quality. Uh, we're particularly proud that uh, the University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies is one of the first universities in Canada to really develop programming to respond to this Canada training credit. Say I lived outside of the GTA and worked outside of the GTA, are there options for that as well? 
Sure. Well, we're launching 24 individual micro courses and 19 of those are offered in an online format. So really, uh, currently in our online programming, we have learners from all over the globe. So people that whether you're in the GTA or whether you're located uh, elsewhere in Ontario, Canada or around the world, you're able to take advantage of these. That's great. And these online courses, they are instructor supported so that there's an instructor there the whole time, just like our, our regular courses at the school. Exactly. And, and so that's the benefit of being able to leverage the skill sets of our instructors who are all working professionals. They know the industries in which they're working and they're able to bring their experience into the classroom, whether it's a real face to face classroom or an online experience. Very cool. Well, this is a really, really cool initiative and uh, I'm just really proud to be part of it. Well, thank you so much, Maureen, for sharing your insights. It's just been uh, really, really fun to share more about our micro courses at the school and hopefully some folks out there will be interested in learning more about them. So how do you do that, you ask? Well, you can visit our website or you can join us on social media and follow us and we'll be keeping you updated about all of the new and exciting program formats that we have. And of course, we want to hear from you. So share your comments, share your ideas, and you never know when an idea might materialize into a great new learning opportunity. So thanks so much.